Hey there, Tinkercad friends. I've got a new project for you, and it'll help us with our duplicate trick, which I enjoy so much. Start by naming it Skyscraper and putting your initials after it. Bring out a cube and take that cube and make it 40 and press enter and 40 and press enter. It helps if you actually type the 40 and let's make it 80 high. So it looks a bit like a skyscraper. We need to put windows on our skyscraper. We're going to do that with a hole. I'm going to make my windows 10 in every direction. By simply clicking and typing. And then I want my window to be 5 millimeters in. So I'm going to grab both edges. I'm going to align and I want it to go to the corners. And then I'm going to use the arrow key to pull it out 5. And go over 5. And then this is going to be the neat trick. I'm going to change my work plane to be this front face. And when that, what that lets me do is that lets me use the up arrow to go up 10 millimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to take the next one up 10. And then I'm going to put a gap of 5 in between it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now because I did that with the arrow keys and have touched nothing else, the next time I hit Control D, it continues to make those windows all the way up my awesome skyscraper. I'm going to shut off my work plane. And I'm going to adjust the roof. So instead of 80, I'm going to go to 85. And now I've got a nifty set of windows. I'm going to use another amazing command. I'm going to hide the big cube. I'm going to grab my lovely little set of windows. And I'm going to group them. I'm going to use show all to bring back my building's tower. And now I'm going to click control D and I'm just going to nudge the whole project over 10 millimeters, but I'm going to cheat and make it so fast by going to the five millimeters. There's five, 10, 15, and I'm going to go 20. So that way it spreads them out nice and even. I'm going to click shift. So I can select both those pieces. So I held shift and I clicked. I could have also hid this again, grabbed them both, grouped them, and then brought back everything. And now I want to put my windows on every side. I'm going to start by doing control D, switch to the top view, and I'm going to pull them through. So I'm going with the arrow keys. And I want it to poke out five just like the other one did. Then I'm going to hold down shift again and select both of these. And I'm going to group my two sets of windows. And I'm going to do control D one more time. And now this one I'm going to rotate. And I'm going to type the rotation. I want to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to switch back to a corner view. Look at all those beautiful windows. I'm going to grab my entire skyscraper and group it, and I have now cut out all my little windows in my nifty skyscraper. Just because I want it to look a little cooler, remember it was 40 by 40, I'm going to bring out another cube and make it 35 by 35. This is kind of cool. You can hide this if it's ever in your way by just hitting the little shape number. So there's my 35. There's my other 35. I'm going to center this. So you can center on this front plane and on the side plane. And then I want to raise up that new one because I want to sink in my roof. I'm going to do the work plane again so that I can just do the arrows up. Got the wrong one selected. I'm going to hide this. So now I can just use the arrow to raise it up. 
I'm going to bring everything back. And I only want to sink it in five. So you can see there, this would be even. Now it's five in. I'm going to grab both those pieces. Double check that it's aligned good and group it. So now I've got a sunken roof up on the top of my cool uh, skyscraper. Looks like five was a bummer because it cut into my window. So I'm just going to ungroup that quick. I'm going to switch my grid back to one millimeter. And I'm going to raise that up one. One, two millimeters so it doesn't bump into my windows. You can add words. You can add fancy things to get to the inside. You can add anything you want to your cool skyscraper. I just really wanted to get you some more practice using the work plane, using duplicate, using a line, and making awesome things. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you have questions, add them in the comments area. And whatever you do, keep tinkering. I'm the dragon. I'm the dragon.